what if I told you that instead of the year 2023, we are currently in the year 1726? You could think I'm crazy, but there's a chance my scientific theory is correct. German historian Harry Baird Illig put forth the controversial and now largely disproven phantom time hypothesis in the 1990s. The main idea behind this theory is that the years 614 to 911 weren't real and were made up or miscalculated by medieval historians. According to Illig, the Middle Ages were artificially prolonged by approximately three centuries due to the fabrication or distortion of various historical events, personalities, and documents from the time period. The central argument of the phantom time hypothesis is based on a few key points. 1. Inconsistencies in historical records. Illig drew attention to a number of apparent inconsistencies and gaps in the historical records, in particular those that pertain to the years AD 614 to 911. Specifically, Illig focused on the years AD 614 to 911. He noted that there was a lack of archaeological evidence and a paucity of dated things from this period, which led him to assume that these years might have been put into the timeline. He stated that there was a dearth of archaeological evidence and a scarcity of dated objects from this period. Because there were so few artifacts from this time period that could be dated, he was led to believe this. 2. The Gregorian Calendar Reform After the year 1582, when the calendar was changed to the Gregorian system, the created years of the calendar are thought to have been removed from it in accordance with this perspective. This occurred when the Julian calendar was replaced by the Gregorian calendar. The transition from the Julian calendar to the Gregorian calendar brought about this alteration in the calendar. This shift happened as a direct consequence of switching from the prior system, which was known as the Julian calendar, to the new system, which is called the Gregorian calendar. Illig asserts that Pope Gregory XIII and Holy Roman Emperor Otto III tampered with the calendar to make it appear as though the year 1000 AD occurred, rather than the year that it actually did take place, which is the year that it truly did take place. It was done in this manner in order to give the impression that the event took place in the year 1000 after the Common Era. 3. Historical Events This theory suggests that certain historical events, such as the reigns of certain monarchs and the establishment of the Carolingian dynasty, may have been fabricated in order to meet the established timeline. Some examples of these historical events include the founding of the Carolingian dynasty and the reigns of specific monarchs. These historical events include, among other things, the reigns of particular monarchs and the founding of the Carolingian dynasty, both of which are examples. This spans the time when the Carolingian dynasty was ascending to power in Western Europe. Illig also suggested that it was difficult to build broad structures such as castles and cathedrals during this phantom time due to the technological limitations of the time period. He based this argument on the fact that the time period. This was due to the fact that Illig was of the opinion that the structures in question could not be built given their physical characteristics. He explained that this was because the technology that was accessible back then was not nearly as advanced as the technology that is available now. While the phantom time hypothesis presents an intriguing alternate view of history, it's crucial to approach such ideas with a critical mindset. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence, and in this case, the evidence overwhelmingly supports the legitimacy of the historical events and figures from the phantom time. So, whether you're fascinated by unconventional theories or passionate about preserving well-established historical facts, the phantom time hypothesis serves as a reminder of the importance of rigorous research and evidence-based inquiry. Thank you for joining us today as we explored the intriguing world of the phantom time hypothesis. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more historical insights, and let us know in the comments what you think about this controversial theory.